Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 60 and we are going to talk about that we have to be whole, act with integrity. What do you expect of them who are your actually stakeholders? So when we talk about expectations, remember that sometimes our expectations are in clash with our stakeholders. So in that particular clash, when we talk about the expectations, we have to see that what you think your stakeholders expect of you and you have to see that what do they expect from you. So it's a two way actually thing that what do you need from your stakeholders to do for you and what do you need to do to meet the satisfaction of your stakeholders. That is the reason that in our previous exercise we talked about that what are the expectations of the stakeholders and how we are going to meet those. But in this particular exercise, we're going to talk about that what are the expectations of the stakeholders that either you are meeting them or not. So for that particular case, we have to do the exercise number eight. So in the exchange of expectations, remember that in this particular exercise, we have to see that how the work, home and community are going to have a relationship with yourself. So that is the reason that we have finished the fourth column wo khatam kar diya hai, and we have to see that number one, if we put the scale, the one would mean that you believe this stakeholder never meets expectation. Five would mean that you believe this stakeholder is meeting expectations some of the time. And the 10 would mean that indicates that you believe this stakeholder is meeting expectations fully all of the time. So supposedly at work, suppose I write like different names, the same names which I have put in the last uh, exercise. There are A, B, C, D and at uh, home I may have W, X, Y and Z and at community I may have L, M, N and O. So these were the people I have discussed with you in the previous exercise number 7. So when we talk about exercise number 8, I have to see that this stakeholder is either meeting your expectations or not. So supposedly I say 1 over here, 5 over here, 10 over here and I say 7 is the level of expectation I have with the work people. So at home I may say that they are 7, they are 8, they are 9 and they are 10 and suppose in community I have 5, 6 and 7 and 8 numbers. So these numbers are just random figures I have put for you to understand how to fill this particular grid. But in actual exercise, you have to be very much vigilant, you have to be very much careful that who are the people you are listing and what is actually the level of expectations either you are having with them or they are having with you based upon the exercise which we are attempting. Once this exercise is filled, now you have to move to certain important questions which you need to address. The first question is, what are the main things you really want and need from your key stakeholders. Ab aapko ye bhi pata hona chahiye ke darasal aapki zaruriyat aur khwahishat hain kya. The second thing you need to know that how compatible are your expectations for them with what they expect of you. Aapko ye bhi dekhna hai ke aap unse jo tawakkuat wabasta kiye hue ho usme unki jo tawakkuat aapse hain compatibility hame kahan par mil rahi hai. And the third thing you need to focus upon that how do your expectations for them fit with what is really important to you. So, aapne jo tawakkuat unke saath wabasta ki, wo usko kis kadar fulfill wo kar pa rahe hai. So, that is important for you because unless and until hum tawakkuat set nahi karenge, unless and until hum un tawakkuat mein bhi hierarchy of priority set nahi karenge, it would be difficult for us to interact with our stakeholders in true meaning. Dear students, if I conclude the whole discussion, we are talking about expectations and sometimes those expectations are costing us a lot. At the same time, there might be a fruitful relationship. There might be a time jab hum expectations ko meet karke, ek dusre ki tawakkuat par pura utar ke, hum ek taluk ko, hum ek jazbe ko, hum ek maamle ko behter tor par resolve or solve wo kar sakenge. That is the reason that we are sensitive ke kab hum apne stakeholders ke expectation ka khayal rakhein or kab hamare stakeholders ko hamari expectations ka khayal rakhna chahiye. So remember one thing, this is all about expectations and we have to be careful about these. Thank you.